mukso Mukso yeme. Oni ga idashimas. Okay, uh, we start same exercise series as you did last time, so we get used to it a little more. First of all, breathing. You already know. Hands on the upper legs. Grab your thumb. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. And keep the tension, the, the center activated as you do it. Empty the lungs. Inhale. And shoulders relaxed. One more. And breathe regularly. Then we start with the fingertips. Uh, underneath the rib cage so we start from the outer position and then each exhalation and inhalation we go closer to the sternum to the solar plexus now we start here and as we exhale we bend forward and we try to reach a little bit underneath the rib cage okay not too much it should not hurt but try to enter a little bit okay Don't have to bend as much forward as before, then you go back. Still exhale through the mouth, inhale through the nose. And again. It's a good exercise to feel if you have tension in your muscles on the stomach side because then it's quite more difficult if you're relaxed it's better and again a little more closer to the middle very good And the last one, quite close to the sternum. Okay. 
Very good. Okay. I have to get to the door. Sorry. Yes, for sure. Take your time. Okay, perfect, perfect uh, moment for a break. So we start with the exercise series. Uh, fingers crossed, stretch upward. Okay, both sides make it long, especially here, which is quite the part that is stiff during the day. Okay. Then we turn to one side, exhale, and come back as we inhale. Exhale. And faster back. Keep the spine straight and look to the other side. Still don't forget your center which should be still uh, active. And the other side. Okay. One hand to the back, second hand you put on the elbow and then push a little bit, not too far. The middle finger is on the on the spine, ideally in the middle of the back. And other side. Then uh, grab your hands, cross the fingers, palms together and put them behind the back and as far upward as possible without leaning forward. So the spine is still straight, back is straight and then you push them a little bit upwards as far as possible. But the hands, the palm keep in touch. Video image is for me uh, an advantage too, so I can correct my own posture. <laughs> okay. Now, turn around. That's a perfect moment for changing from Cesar to another seat, so it won't hurt. Uh, feet together and Try to come a little closer with your butts towards your heels and grab your toes, push the knees a little bit downwards and at the same time with a straight back 
lean a little bit forward or pull your, your upper body a little bit forward without bending too much the, the back. To increase the tension you can push down with your elbows on your legs, but it depends. <laughs> Don't overdo it. <laughs> I quite feel it like this <laughs> already. <sighs> My notes say in which I wrote from Tamura Sensei's uh, session of warm-up exercises, my notes say, the nose is touching the floor. <laughs> Next time. Next time. <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> okay, uh, relax, knees together, okay. Back to Caesar. And one leg you put forward. Can you see it? Yes, one leg forward. And lean back. I, you can you can use the the whole arms to lean back, or you can go on your elbows. It depends. Doesn't matter. Okay. However you feel comfortable. But the knee should remain on the floor. That's important. Now we change. Okay. One foot towards the butt, the other foot straight and you turn towards the straightened leg and lean forward a little bit. Try to reach for the toes if possible or just for the knee. Was it your dog? Sorry? Was it your dog before, which I heard? Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, okay, change, other side. First straight up, then twist the torso towards the straightened leg and lean forward. All right. If possible, roll backward and bring the feet to the rear.
You can also walk sideways if possible. Okay, and vice versa, lean forward and straighten the back. The butt should be a little bit behind your knees, so not straight up, but a little bit to the rear so that the weight helps to straighten the back. Legs upwards, uh, if possible, the back as straight as possible, and then we go just all around clockwise and then counterclockwise. Yeah. Other direction, whatever the very good. Okay, one knee up. Grab it and look to the other, look to, you look to the side where the knee, yes, exactly, exactly. And then to the rear, spine is straight, back is straight. Pull in the stomach a little bit, then twisting of the torso is easier. That's a lot to pull in. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I said a little bit. <laughs> Ah, and other side. Okay, lay down on the floor, oh, hands to the rear and just relax for a second, feel the breath entering and leaving the stomach when the stomach rate rises and lowers itself, hands to the rear, make your whole body as long as possible. And now four times we inhale, hold breath and raise the arms, the legs and the head so that the center of tension is where our center, our uh, seca tandem normally is. So slightly be below the navel knot. Okay. Hitch. And relax. Second time, reach. And relax. Two more, reach. And 
Nej, det var det. Last one. Pitch. And relax. Perfect. Wonderful. Okay, we put the whole body in a... Like the Romans do, sideway position. The one hand is supporting the head, so you can easily lay down. And then the upper leg you grab with your free hand and try to keep the balance. Okay. When you start, you can leave the second foot on the floor, so it's easier to keep the balance. And then by the time you can try to raise the leg too, but it makes it more difficult to not fall over. But it's a good position, as I can see, it looks quite relaxed in the, in the video picture. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <Like, you know. laughs> Okay, and roll over to the other side, same exercise. It's easier to first grab the leg and then find a position to keep balance. Very good. Back to the first side. Uh, lying on the side, both hands and legs are straightened. The head too. Ideally, the arms and the legs do not touch the body, so uh, the, the floor. It starts with the armpit from the armpit to your left to the to one side of the body touches the floor the rest is free to air and relax roll over other side Okay. Ikyo. Yes. Elbows as low as possible, as shoulders relaxed. Side. Yeah, very good. Okay, what the guy is she? Yes, for sure. Take your time. No need to hurry. Okay. Kotegeishi, look at your pinky, grab the thumb 
twist it and lower it. Not too close to the stomach. As you can see, there is at least one and a half fist of distance between the stomach and my, my hands. Other side. Nope. Look at the pinky. Uh, twist it other way. Twist it the other way. Yeah, exactly. Then grab the thumb. And yes, exactly. There we are. Okay, thumb is looking downwards. Now the four fingers come from below. Yes, grab the thumb and the whole package and twist the pinky towards the forehead, then lower everything. Yes. Nikyo. Yeah. Okay, other side. Oh, it should be better like this. Thumb is looking downwards. You squeeze the whole hand all together and pinky facing upwards. And uh, yes, you know how Nikyo feels. When you feel like Nikyo, then it's right. <laughs> It's much easier if you already know the sensation. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next one. Look at the rear of your hand. Grab it and twist it outwards. Yes. Thank you. Here, especially, relax the the shoulders. Don't. Uh. Just relaxed in the torso, in the shoulders, and rotate. Okay, other side. And last one, Yonkyo. Other side. Elephant's idea. How are your knees? Okay, just, just standing up a little bit. The knees are okay, but I can't feel my feet anymore. <laughs> sitting up on my toes. Absolutely okay, absolutely. You can come up the whole way like this too. Yeah. And change. Very good. Fun fact is that the flexibility in the arms, when you once gained it, uh, you don't lose it as easy as the flexibility in the legs. I noticed that the legs are a lot, lot stiffer, particularly around the groin. Yeah. Area. Exactly. A lot quicker. Okay. Uh, each. 
ni sung yum go change hands each ni sun yum go okay and you remember not shake it <laughs> but cut the sky with your hands so that you can feel the shaking even in your in your center <laughs> Uh, here you can just check it. Uh, okay. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. closer with the feet and lower the center straight down so not like this which sometimes happens you put up your butt straight down like this okay kibatachi this is the position with a low center when you can feel your legs quite intense. Okay. And back up. Second time. Hands on the knees. Twist the upper body and look to the sky or the ceiling. Also. Okay, swing the legs back and forward, not especially high, just relaxed back and forward. It's important that the second leg is not completely straight, it's already a little bit bent, then it's easier to keep the hip in balance. And other side. Okay, first side as high as possible. Don't overdo it because it's like stretching in movement, okay? Very good. 
last exercise is already more a balance exercise. Uh, the front knee is bent a little bit, you bring up the second knee and then straighten the leg for a short period of time. So just forward, keep this position and pull it back. So the whole movement is raise, kick, hold, back. Raise, kick, hold and back. Raise, kick, hold, back. Raise, kick, hold, back. Okay? Very good. Other side, same exercise. Okay. Here you can, here you can with intention open the mouth and let the, the lungs squeeze out a little bit the air during the compression and extension while your shoulders are shaking. Back and forth. Sideways. Around in a square clockwise and then counterclockwise. Uh, otherwise, another direction. <laughs> then our triangles. Other direction. And run on the spot. Okay. You tell me when it's enough, okay? <laughs> so just simple back and forth, okay? As you know, fingers and hands on the knees, but don't hold it. They are just to keep the, the hands in a certain position. Okay. The head is not touching the floor. Round shape of the back. One knee close to the butt. And the other knee. Don't forget to breathe. <laughs> both, both feet close to the butt and hands to the front.
Yeah, very good. And we stand up from this position. Ooh, yes. Both feet straight down to the rear, change the legs. And both feet push the floor. Yes, two more. Do you want to try some Ushiro Ukimi? Do you have enough space? <laughs> no dogs, children, knives. <laughs> okay, if possible, super slow, you know. One hand on the knee side is facing outwards, exactly. Second hand protecting the head. And the second hand is reaching for the floor as you slowly Roll backward. Ah, see ya, That's enough. You know what we are doing. <laughs> okay, second side, which sometimes is. <laughs> we prepare it the same way. One hand facing outwards, second hand protecting the face, second hand is reaching backwards slowly. Very good line up. And in a straight line, still on the mat. Yeah, that's yeah, I can see I can even see it from here. It looks it looks smooth, it is straight back. Uh, uh, when you when you continue they as I always tell you, uh, speed comes later. If you know what you're doing, then you can do it at any speed. So if you know to do it slow, you know to do it fast, forward, backward, doesn't matter. Two more, two precise ones more. On your own rhythm. Hand out. Very good. Okay, as you know, already know, rolling backwards, we can do two of them forward. I don't have to tell you anything, but remember, first you put the shoulder down, then you can roll forward. <laughs> Remember one knee is pointing in the direction you want to go, then look where you want to go and for the very last moment look to the side and as you have finished the roll then uh, find your spot again. So back and head forward. You're still, you're still on my screen. <laughs> Remember, sit on your heels and both knees to the floor if possible. When you start, both knees are on the floor, hands on the floor. Then the, the hand in the middle or the, the one where the fingers are facing backwards, you go down and then you give it a push. Yep, that was quite on the mat, right? Not quite. <laughs> <laughs>
And one more. Very good. You want to do two more? Yeah. All right. Are we all right? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, Leonel, you can try to move your knee a little bit. I don't know if you can see it, but as I roll forward from this posi position, I see your hand is going there and the shoulder is going down. And then at a certain point, the butt is raising. So you can try to push the, the knee, the rear one, a little bit to the rear as you go down. You see this? So yeah. I'm already going down here. Maybe try this one. Could be easier. At least it was different. <laughs> Okay, check your focus, look forward, and then... This one was not bad. Yeah, you felt it, right? Yeah, it felt better. It felt better across my back there, to be honest. Maybe do one more on the same side to uh, get a little muscle memory. Not bad, really, not bad. Looks good. Yeah, about that far off to where the line was going. Yeah, you do it perfect because you have you have adjusted the camera so that I cannot see the floor. <laughs> you can, you can tell me it was right on the mat, you know, it was the mat is here. <laughs> no, but very good. Okay. I, I didn't dive underneath the camera, just pop up again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's do something different before we get some back pain we don't want, okay? Okay. You remember... Okay. You remember Ikkyo Undo, which means the feet in shoulder broad stance Okay, and it was this exercise, you know? Okay, so one foot comes to the other, then the same one is going forward. At the same time, hands are raising. Which foot, which foot should you start with, the left or the right? It doesn't matter. Okay. You can start, left is going to the right one, left is going forward. Then you go back to the starting position. Then right is going to the left one, right is going forward. Exactly, and back to starting position. Remember the feeling to be pulled with your center instead of stepping forward and the rest of the body follows. So as I do it here, the center is pulled like this. That's too much, but to have the, the image of the, to start the, the, to initiate the movement at your center here and the feet are pulled afterwards okay okay try on your own
Ah, clever. Okay. Okay, we do it all together. Ah, okay. Yes, yes. Can you still see two pictures or just one? Two pictures. Okay. Then we do it together. Ah. Each. Knee. Sun. Young. Go. Roku. Nana. Touch. You. Ju. Please remember the feet as you move from here together and forward and the rear foot is pulled afterwards so that it has full contact to the floor. Not like this and not like this. Okay? Like this and same position as before. It's always hummy. Okay? Once again we do it together. Each knee sun yum. Go. Roku. Na. Touch. Ju. Ju. Very nice. Really good. Okay. Same idea in two directions, forward and backward. Now we start in Hanmi. Left foot is to the front and we start with a slight step forward. So left foot stays at the front. So pitch, forward and we turn to the right. Hands back to the starting position, right foot sliding forward, knee. 180 degrees. So you don't have to change the feet, it's always the, the foot which is to the front stays at the front. Turn, slide step, turn, slide step. And when the hands fall down, this movement, like you remember the warm-up exercise, the same idea here. Ikya and the hands fall down and initiate the uh, um, tenkan movement, uh, the, the kaiten movement, the shift of the hip.
Very good. Uh, the hands, hind, hind for the hands. Uh, as they start from here and you raise them, it's like the pinky finger is pulled up first, so that you can that you have some kind of tension starting from the pinky here on the outside of the arm. The same the same area where you're normally rolling on. When you make contact to the floor, it's the same the same spots of the arm, which is not completely straight, stiff straight, but also not bent, slightly straight and the pinky is, the fingertips and the pinky tip is raised first, which pulls the rest of the arm up. So like, you can imagine this outer edge is like the cutting edge of a sword. Therefore it's called Tegadana, the sword hand. So this is the cutting edge and you raise the cutting edge towards like cutting with a sword. You raise also the rear end like this and back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we do it in four directions. We already did it. Okay. We start left foot to the front. I do it super slow and we go. Left foot stays to the front, slide step forward. 180 degrees to the right. Right foot forward, slide step. 90 degrees to the left, left foot forward, 180 to the right, right foot forward, 90 to the left, left foot forward, and 180 to the right, right foot forward. Ah, perfect! You arrived like me. I can see you as before. <laughs> okay, we stay like this. <laughs> okay, that's the dog. I didn't, I didn't see it. <laughs> I think he's quite curious about what you're doing. Okay, we ended up right foot forward. That's perfect. We keep the right foot to the front and do the same exercise starting with right foot forward. Slide step. Each 180 to the left, left foot forward. Each 90 to the right, right foot forward. Zoom. 180 to the left, left foot forward. 90 to the right, right foot forward. And 180 to the left, and left foot forward. Wonderful. Okay. Once again, left foot forward, I reduce a little bit of talking, okay? Each, knee, sun to the left, 90. Young, To the left, 90. Go. Oh. And 180. Rock. Sorry. Nearly. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> okay, we start. Left foot to the front. Five, yes, forward. Yep. And back, exactly. Okay, same exercise. We start right foot to the front. Okay. Each. Knee. Sun. Now the right foot goes forward. Yep. Young. Go, right foot forward, and turn around, yes, perfect, here we are. Do you think you can do it on your own one time? Yes. Go for it, I check.
Really great. Yeah, well, that's great. Let's foot forward again. Yeah. yeah. You end on the you end the other foot forward uh, the, uh, compared to the one you started. So when you start right foot to the front, the last movement when you look in the same direction at the end is uh, left foot forward. So normally you can go endlessly repeating this exercise and uh, always change the feet. After each repetition, it's the other foot to the front. If you want to go for it, second foot, one round. Let's try the right foot. Yep. Exactly. I think you found out. I saw you tipping. I saw you tipping on your leg. It's a good idea. So the one you started, as you did it, it was it was a good idea. As you start here, this is the one that is when you turn 90 degrees. This one is the active one. Then you turn again, 90 again. This one. Okay. Now it's the left. Left. One. Left. One. Left and back. That's very a very good idea. Okay, one one more round uh, on the left and the right side on your own. Exactly. Always the last one, right? Yeah, because you've got to end up on the right foot and then you start thinking, and that's dangerous. No, it's, it, uh, it, that's the idea. Uh, after re uh, repeating this exercise for a while, then without thinking, you always know the direction where you can, where the open part of the body is, where you can turn, and where the closed one is. Uh, for beginners, it's quite, it seems to be quite strange. I cannot turn to this direction. It's there I'm, uh, I'm fixed, so if I want to turn in this direction, I have to do a step before I turn. Huh? And there is only one side, the omoto side, as you remember, the open one, the front side. You can always shift to the front side. And this means you can shift 180 degrees, you can shift 90, 180. If necessary, you can ah, do it uh, 100 and uh, something. <laughs> okay. Uh, but it's only possible to the open side. For every other direction you have to move to step first before you move backward, forward. But it's always the same pattern of, of stepping and turning. And this is necessary for all the... For, Shionage is existing only in this kind of movement. So if you know how to move there, you can throw in every direction because everything else is... <laughs> Raising the arms, lowering the arms, raising the arms, lowering the arms. Okay, that's quite uh, a good exercise. And you can. This is the this is the mid level, and the highest the highest level uh, is the um, eight directions. So now we have north, south, east, west, and then we can add the half steps too. But that's quite confusing. For now, you can try to to improve on that. If you if, if you have if you have uh, realized how to do this, then we go one step further and do eight directions. Okay. Okay. And 
Yeah. I keep this on my on my feet. Seems to be helpful. Okay. Next one, Kokyoryoku, uh, the basic exercise for establishing center. Mm -hmm. And therefore, remember all the exercises we do, there is always, everything starts from here, okay? So also this exercise, you raise the hands and the movement starts here. Remember, when you turn to the, back, to the rear, the toes are turning with you. It's not like this, and again, it's not like this, okay? So as you start, I'm not straightening my knees completely. I'm already in a lowered position. From here, raise the arms, upper body starts, and to the rear, okay? And as you remember, I don't, I don't know if you can see it, as you remember, I don't step back straight and turn, I step a little bit to the rear outside. So 15 degrees to the outside. Yes, exactly. With one arm, yeah. one arm, yeah. One arm is the one, this one, if I go to this direction, this one is the one that throws. The second one is support or atomy. So here, this one is throwing and this one is Imagine an atomy to the stomach, for example, here, okay? But keep the, keep the hands uh, open to be more relaxed during the exercise. When you, when you do the, the, the throw as a technique, you can really punch here, but for the exercise, try to start the movement in your center. Okay. Uh, practice a little bit on your own, then I take a look and then we do it together, okay? Uh, can you can you uh, shift a little a little bit upward so that I can see a little bit more of your upper body? Yes, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. As you raise the arms, you raise it on the high of your shoulders. So this, not like this but really up here, okay? okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The high hand, the, the higher one, at the end you can really go reaching for the sky, okay? So that you, that you can feel that there is some kind of tension from this fingertip, which is the low one, to the other one. 
So it has it, no need. Uh, you start at the middle position, then as you turn, this one is going upward and the other one is slightly going lower. Okay. So, but this one can really be high because you want to. You can you can you remember the exercise when we throw kokyunage? This hand is below the chin of your opponent and you want to make him as large as possible before it goes down, okay? So really raise this arm like to the sky that you can bring your weight above your partners. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, show me the feet too for a second. Yes. Very good, very good. Looks good. Does it put slide or does it step? When you when you're like, does it use it step it and it says, When you do it, when you do it super slow, it's just stepping. But the more um, energy you put into it, the more it gets a, a sliding movement. So if I do it super slow, it's just from here. Then I turn, I shift the body, and lean backward. Okay. So the left foot has not really slide it back or forth but as i do it more intense uh, more intensively then the weight of my body is pulling the the whole the, the, the legs to the rear so i'm i can really do a, 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 a huge step backward okay so so when you look at my when you look at the at the rear leg as i turn this one is initiating and the second one is following up okay other side here one and the second one is coming close okay so I'm really moving backwards I'm not just turning like this it's okay one can practice this too but as we are advanced students <laughs> You can put a little bit more movement in it. And as I said, this hand Okay. One more. Yes, very good. Can you shift the camera to the floor that I can see your feet for a second? Yes. Try to bend your knees a little more, just a little, especially at the end. Yes, from here. Yeah, yeah. So the front foot, when you are at the rear position, when you're looking backward, the your okay, go back, okay. And now the the foot which is to the front should be back. Yes, 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 exactly, exactly. Here you can put in a little bit of you can settle uh, you can set, settle the weight of your body a little bit more on the fourth on the front foot. Okay. Yeah. Yes. It feels more stable. 
more yes if you're if you're lowered you're more stable that's why that's why go-kart racing is so much fun <laughs> i still crap at it <laughs> uh remember your the foot you're you're pulling behind you yes yes if I possible Yes, much better. Yep. Oh, everyone will 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 be able to execute Kokionage in a totally new way <laughs> after lockdown. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Oh, I pinned you on, uh, unpin you. Okay. okay, we do some relaxation and breathing exercises for the very end. I will do it, uh, I will repeat it a little bit more often than normally so that we can calm down and... Remember, fingers crossed at the beginning, you raise it as you inhale, all above your head, then you, to the side, the palm is looking upward, and as you exhale, you go on your, on your toes, inhale, Open, exhale, the rhythm is a bit strange because the inhalation sequence is longer, so it's inhale, 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 exhale. And fingers first, like before in the Kokuryoku exercise, fingers, fingertips are moving up, pulling the arms up. Then you turn and fingers look downwards and it goes back down. As you raise the arms, you slightly come on your, on your toes. You turn it, exhale and go back. All the time, the more weight is on the toes than on the heels because the more you put the weight on the heels the more unstable the whole position is so your 70% uh, of your weight are uh, resting on the on the on the forefoot uh, on the on the toes and the knees are slightly bent again inhale turn the palm exhale Inhale, exhale,
Last one. As you inhale, arms are pushing backward. You come on the toes and release the air as you go down. Don't pull the shoulders upwards, just the hands to the rear. Any questions, my friend? That was good, thank you. No problem. Uh, I'm very happy to have you. <laughs> because training... Uh, Wednesday. Um, and it's just the uh, next training is on Wednesday. That's right, yeah. Just Wednesday, yeah. Uh, same time, I think. Yes, Ex exactly, exactly. Yes. Okay. If you have any questions or suggestions, if we want to do something in particular, just let me know, okay? We are not so much participants, so I can, I can refer to the, to the core students <laughs> all the time. To, to be honest, keep, to keep going through these basics, to keep practicing the basic rolling, the basic foot movements, the basic body movements, to imprint it in you, well, when we finally get to start next year, most likely, middle, most likely. You, you know, it's in, more in red, and I'm not starting from completely at the start again. No, absolutely. Uh, I'm pretty sure we will not start from the, from the very start anymore, because uh, it was more than uh, some weeks that you did it. So it might be a little bit covered with dust, then we will do some and uh, we will un 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 unravel it again. Um, the, the basic movements are of importance, and these are what we did today, uh, the Kokyu Ryoku and the, um, uh, the Ikkyo Undo or Shio Undo, which is, this one is also possible with a cutting movement, yeah. but it's mostly uh, um, focusing on the, on the, on the Ashi Sabaki, the, the, the way of walking, the way of, of um, moving with your feet. And then there is um, three exercises called Tai Sabaki, which consists of, you know, Irimi, Tenkan and Irimi Tenkan. These uh, basic movements forward and shifting the hip combined. Uh, we will do this next time, maybe. And if you practice these three parts, you do all of the um, body movement and stepping movement, which, is, uh, which exists in Aikido. It's just the combination afterwards that changes, maybe. And what your hands are doing. <laughs> <laughs> and the partner and the breathing. It's getting more comfortable where your weight should be at the end of the movement. Yeah, right? yeah. I think it's all about, I think there is a, a huge difference um, when you once realize that all the, 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 um, the body shifting is where is your weight so that you, can, you are able to, to turn. If it's on the wrong foot, you cannot turn. So here it's on both, and now the weight is on the front foot. The rear one is completely, this one is free. As I turn to the other side, now the weight has shifted. So I have not moved a single step, but my weight has changed its position. And that's why when you do something and when you have a connection to your arm and therefore a connection to your partner, it affects your partner from just standing and uh, shifting from one leg to the other. So my, very simplified, but every kind of stepping forward is like, here the weight is on the front foot. Therefore I can move the rear one. Now I shift it to the front foot, the rear one is free. It's always like this. I have to be, it has to be, you have to be able to move freely at least with one foot and the same backwards. So I'm moving here, 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 and to the side, it's the same.
And I think when you when you have realized that every step in Aikido is mainly a shift of weight, not only a shift of not only moving, it's weight shifting. It's always weight shifting. Yeah. And therefore you have to uh, you have to train your knees a little bit or your your legs. Therefore we do these exercises because then you have the ability to rest on one foot at least for half a second to be able to turn and full and, and complete the movement. Yeah. The lower body must be stronger than the upper body. The upper body is relaxed, the, uh, the hip and the center is active and the legs are <laughs> sumo-like. <laughs> okay, any more questions? No, no, not for myself. Okay, then thank you so much. We'll do Samurai Shiki. Muksu. So yeah, Domo, arigato, gozaimashita.